Vaishnav Dandavati, Lady 5 from Mumbai. And today I am going to talk about comets. So the first thing that comes to our mind about comets is what are comets? Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gas, rock and dust that orbit the sun. When frozen, they are the size of a small town. When comets orbit, brings it close to the sun, it heats up and spews dust and gases into a giant glowing head larger than most planets. Comets are frozen leftovers from the formation of the solar system, composed of dust, rock and ice. They range from a few kilometers to 10 kilometers wide. When they come close to the sun due to solar waves, the ice melts and forms a large gaseous tail. Now, we'll learn about the composition of a comet. Composition means the parts of a comet. As a comet approaches the sun, it warms up. During this warming, you can observe several distinct parts like nucleus, comma, hydrogen envelope, dust tail, and iron tail. Here is a picture of the comet and the parts. This is the nucleus. Here is a comma. This white one is a dust tail and this colorful one is a iron tail. Now, we will learn more about these parts. First, we will learn about the nucleus. Nucleus. The icy hard part of the comet is called the nucleus. Nucleus is like a snowball made of ice. It can be composed of rock. It is also called the heart of a comet. Nucleus contains frozen water, but other frozen substances may exist such as carbon dioxide, ammonia, carbon monoxide and methane. Now, the nucleus is the main solid part of the comet. Nucleus is usually 1 to 10 kilometers in diameter but can be as big as 100 kilometers. It can be composed of rock. A comet's nucleus is like a snowball made of ice. As the comet comes near the sun, the ice starts to melt off along with particles of dust. The nucleus of a comet is also known as a core. It contains mostly ice and dust covered with a dark organic material. Now, we we'll learn about the comma. Comma. As the comet gets closer to the sun, some of the ice starts to melt and boil off along with the particles of dust. These particles and gases make a cloud around the nucleus called a comma. The comma is lit by the sun. The comma and nucleus together form the head of a comet. The comma is a halo of evaporated gas, which is water vapor, ammonia, carbon dioxide and dust that surrounds the nucleus. The comma is made as the comet warms up and is often 1000 times larger than the nucleus. It can even become as big as Jupiter or Saturn. The comma and the nucleus together form the head of the comet. Now, Let's learn about the hydrogen envelope. Hydrogen envelope. Surrounding the comma is an invisible layer of hydrogen called the hydrogen envelope. The hydrogen may come from water molecules. It usually has an irregular shape because it is distorted by the solar wind. The hydrogen envelope gets bigger as the comet approaches the sun. Now friends, we'll talk about the most beautiful part of the comet which is its tail. So, there are two types of tail, iron tail and the dust tail. The tail is made up of small dust particles. The dust tail is the easiest part of the comet to see because it reflects sunlight and because it is long several million kilometers. The dust tail is often curved because the comet is moving in its orbit at the same speed that the dust is moving away. Much as the water curves away from the nozzle of a moving hose, the comet's dust tail always faces, faces away from the sun. The iron tail is made of electrical charged small gas molecules, which are carbon dioxide, nitrogen and water that are pushed away from the nucleus by the solar wind. Sometimes the gas tail disappears and later reappears when the comet crosses a boundary with direction of the sun's magnetic field is reversed. Now friends, there is a now friends there is a question for you where does the tail always point when near to the sun sunlight and solar wind always flow outward from a sun and surface the tail always points away from a sun no matter what direction the comet is moving in its orbit this means that the tail can be in front of the comet as the comet moves away from a sun or 
on its return to the outer part of its orbit. Now friends, tell me which comet is currently visible in a night sky? Yes, it is the comet Neowise. Nowadays, it is very close to Earth. We are able to see the comet's central core or nucleus with the naked eye in dark skies. Using binocular will give viewers a good look the fuzzy comet and its long streaky tail. A comet has been named by NASA as C2020 FC Neowise. The comet made its once in a lifetime close approach to the Sun on July 3, 2020. Neowise is visible to observe into midnight 2020. Neowise won't make it back to the inner solar system for 6,800 years according to the experts. Now, have you ever heard about the comet which crashed into Jupiter? Well, it was shoemaker Levy 9. Comet shoemaker Levy 9 was a comet that broke apart in July 1992 and collided with Jupiter in 1994. Comet shoemaker Levy 9 was captured by the gravity of Jupiter, torn apart and then crashed into the giant planet Jupiter in July 1994. The collision produced stars that were visible from Earth. Several months after its discovery, pieces of the comet smashed into the planet Jupiter. When the comet was discovered in 1993, it already had been torn into more than 20 pieces, traveling around the planet in, in a two-year orbit. The comet was very much close to Jupiter. The disruption of a comet into multiple fragments was rare and observing a captured comet in orbit about Jupiter was even more unusual. But the biggest and the rarest revelation was that the fragments were going to smash into Jupiter. The freight train of the fragments smashed into Jupiter with a force of 300 million atomic bombs. The fragments created huge plums that were 2000 to 3000 kilometers high and heated the atmosphere to temperature as hot as 30,000 to 40,000 Celsius. Shoemaker Levy 9 left dark ringed stars that were eventually erased by Jupiter's winds. While the impact was dramatic, it was more than a show. The collision also left dust floating on the top of the Jupiter's clouds. By watching the dust spread across the planet, scientists were able to track the high altitude winds on Jupiter for the first time. Scientists have calculated that the comet was originally about 1.5 to 2 kilometers wide. If a similar sized object were to hit Earth, it would be devastating. The impact might send dust and debris into the sky, creating a haze that would cool the atmosphere and absorb sunlight, enveloping the entire planet in darkness. If the haze lasted long enough, plant life would die, along with the people and animals that depend on it to survive. Now, how Shoemaker Levy 9 got its name? The comet was named for its discoverers. Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 was the ninth short periodic comet discovered by Eugene and Caroline Shoemaker and David Levy. Now, friends, do you know which is the most famous comet? Yes, it is the Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet is arguably the most famous comet. It is a periodic comet and returns to Earth's density about every 75 years, making it possible for a human to see twice see twice in his or her lifetime. The last time it was here was in 1986 and it is projected to return in 2061. Halley's orbit period is on average 76 years. The corresponding to an orbital confusions around the sun were about 7.6 billion miles. His period varies from appearance to appearance because of the gravitational effects of the planets. It was slightly brighter than the North Star Polaris, but, but others spread over a much larger area than a point-like star. Now, do you know the Deep Impact Temple 1 mission? Yes. Temple 1 was a target of the Deep Impact Space Mission, which photographed a deliberate high-speed impact upon the comet in 2005. The primary mission of NASA's Deep Impact was to probe beneath the surface of a comet. Deep Impact spent almost nine years in space. What was the purpose of this Deep Impact mission? 
The primary mission of NASA's Sleep Impact was to probe beneath the surface of a comet. The spacecraft delivered a special impactor into the path of Temple 1 to reveal never before seen materials and provide clues about the internal composition and structure of a comet. Deep Impact spent almost 9 years in space. Now here is a small video which will show you a Deep Impact mission. This is the Temple 1 spacecraft. And here is the comet. Now it will crash into the comet. As you can see, here is the comet. It is going to crash. And yes, it crashed. Okay. Now, have you heard about the Rosetta mission? The Rosetta spacecraft followed a 10-year mission to catch a comet and land a probe on it. Launched in 2004, the spacecraft arrived at its target comet on August 6, 2014. The mission included the Philae lander, which made the first touchdown on the comet. Philae unexpectedly bounced twice before landing on the comet when the probe's anchor-like harpen system failed to fire. Here is a small video which will show you about the Rosetta mission. The purpose of the Rosetta mission was to land on the comet and study its surface and surrounding. Here is a small video, video in which you will learn depth about the Rosetta mission. So friends, this was a little bit information about the comics. Thanks for watching.